is going to wind up. Oh, this suspense is killing me. Love me or leave me and let me be, but it's got to be now or never. I tried to fool my heart, saying you just needed a push. But my heart says, listen, sister, I'm tired of beating about the bush, and so, my darling, I am repeating. Hello, me little friends. How are you? Well, I can't be right. What happened to you? Come on, bonnie lads. Come on, wake up. Hello, pet. I'm sorry to be a bother. OK, then. D don't you worry about your dad. He's very resilient. I, I, I wouldn't like to bother you at work. Dad? Is it Mum? Yeah. I miss her too. Look, I know it's been a while, but it doesn't mean we can't still have bad oh, days. I always miss your mother. This time it's the fish. I don't know what went wrong. I, I did everything right. I followed the instructions. I listened to what the man said in the shop. But... <sighs> they're just fish. Dad, I'm sorry. I miss the company, I suppose. Of the fish, I mean. Yeah. The fish. Well... Why don't you go and get some new ones this weekend? No, I need uh, to stop caring so much about them. <laughs> Look, Dad, I'm sorry, but I really have to go. But you know you can ring us whenever you need help, though. Right, love you. you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. So I've still got my jammies on. <laughs> well, come on in, pet. Yeah. What are you doing home this weekend? I thought you'd be busy at work. I was just missing you. Uh, oh, yeah, let's have a look here. <laughs> I thought I'd pop round for the day. We could do something fun. Ha! I'd really like that. Just get ready. Dad, have you been doing all right? You know me. Just plodding on. I just thought... I struggle sometimes too. It's okay. Your dad's very resilient. A couple of fish are not going to bother me. Yeah, but it is more than that, isn't it? No. No, it isn't. Look, I, I'm delighted the way you've made something of your life despite our circumstances. And I'm really proud of the woman you, you're beginning to be. I couldn't have done it without you, though. And now it's my turn to help you. No. You've got yes. to... Yes. You've got to stop saying that. 
and you've got to get on with your own life. Look, Dad, I got you a present. I thought it might cheer you up. Oh, it's very kind of you, pet. I'm giving it all up. Yeah. I should have a, an adult pastime. I'm going to go down to the shop and see Robert and ask him if I can come out of retirement. <laughs> no, Dad. The thing is, when I moved away, this little hobby helped you. You needed something new to take care of. But I did take care of them. And I failed. I tried my best and... And look what happened. Right. Well, let's just forget about that for now. We're going to have a good day, all right? Yeah. I'd like that. I'll just get dressed. Not you. You were always there when I needed you. Thanks for coming home to visit. And thanks for that book. <laughs> I, I might take up that hobby again. Well, I hope sooner rather than later. You deserve something that brings a little joy to your life. I've got you, Lauren. You'll always be my little bundle of joy. Love you, Dad. Love you, Pet. See you soon, right? Hello, my darling. I know if you're reading this, it must be one of those dark days that we said would come from time to time. I know you worry about our girl, but I need you to know that I don't. I know that when I leave this world, that she has you there to take care of her. You are the kindest man with the biggest heart. I know that with everything in me, that as long as she has you, she's gonna be all right. She's our little guppy. She's swimming through the wide open sea that is life. And she's got you there to protect her. But you have to remember to take care of yourself too. Find other ways to bring joy to your life besides our Lauren. Because pretty soon she's gonna have a life of her own too. It's okay to be quiet and content. Just remember that you're not alone and that she can be there for you too on those sad days. There is always hope for a brighter future until we're together again. My love goes out to you both. Forever yours, Adeline.
Lauren, it's all right. I'm only ringing to give you a better review of the book. I love it. You're a good kid. Uh, sorry, young woman. And your mum would be very proud of you. Do you know, I think I might get some more fish. I already feel better. There's only one guppy I need. And she's always there for us. Love you. No. Should I? Love you. Well, here, yeah, Pugger. 